Puts Eating Vegas is back. We're at the world famous Sugar Factory, 3200 South Las Vegas Boulevard. Another edition, actually episode six for What's Eating Vegas. We're gonna go inside, we're gonna tour the facility, we're gonna talk to the chef, and we're gonna sample some food. Come along with me and let's get some sugar. Welcome, my name is Chef Johnny. Let me show you guys around. I've been here at this location for four years. I've been here since day one. Let me show you guys some fun. Over here we have an ice cream case. That looks right. awesome. How do you come up with these ice cream flavors, by the way? Because they're all crazy and the presentation's so good. Everything about Sugar Factor is fun. Same thing <laughs> as our Wild wow Factor. We bring everything else. We want to make sure you guys leave with an experience you like never before. We have over 500 different candies. Oh, Lord. Mark here, back with uh, What's Eating Vegas. We have landed and we're here, finally, at the world famous Sugar Factory. One of the most popular destinations when you come to Las Vegas. Celebrities alike, they enjoy this place. And we have the pleasure of talking with Chef Johnny. You are the chef and you in there cooking. Tell us what is some of the menu, things that's on the menu that are your favorites. And what we're going to be trying later. What are we going to be having? Well, just starting off with our goblets. With all of our candy themed goblets, our chocolate covered martinis, our insane milkshakes, our pastas. We have so many different options that we just want to make sure everybody is something for everybody. It's a sugar lover's treat. From mom to the baby to the uncle to grandma, we're going to make sure everybody leaves sugar factory with the memory. They had a great time. For people that don't really know a lot about the Sugar Factory. What is this something you can tell our viewers about the Sugar Factory so they can come out and enjoy it? Like I said, it's a memory, no matter what. You celebrate your birthday, if you just wanna come in for a nice intimate dinner, if you wanna have a corporate party, it's, it's open for all celebrations, all types of, we welcome everybody. We treat everybody like the family that is one of our As far as the Sugar Factory goes in this 2021, what are, from a food standpoint, is there anything new on the menu? Or any food that you could show our audience out there that uh, when they come in the show factory is something that's special that you created or that you made? So many options. <laughs> number, number, oh, yeah. give us number four or five. Uh, our big cheesy burger is amazing. Um, our rainbow sliders is kid friendly, family friendly. It's enough for everybody. Um, we also just started our brunch, which was Saturday and Sunday from uh, 9 a.m. to 11, I mean, I'm sorry, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We offer our bottomless mimosas, our build on Bloody Marys, and our double stack rainbow pancakes. <laughs> you guys heard it first. We're gonna end on that because double stack pancakes, oh boy. So again, 3200 South Las Vegas Boulevard. But now it's, it's game time now, right? It's time to eat now. Now it's time to put you on the clock. All right, yes, so sir. we're gonna take a short intermission and we're gonna come back, Chef Johnny, Mark here with What's Eating Vegas, we'll be back. We know Vegas is about presentation and I would say that this uh, definitely falls in line with that. Uh, there's watermelon candy all around it. It is real, I'll tell you that right now. I'm a little nervous, but let's see what we can do here. Wow, it tastes like, it's like seven up. I'm sure it probably is part of the experience there, but obviously it is a little sweeter because of it, but it's not overly uh, fizzled or carbonated, I should say, because it looks carbonated when you look out on the outside, but you can actually just probably drink the whole thing through if you really wanted to. If you want to go on Instagram and stuff like that, even the cup you can see here has like the logo. So if you're looking for a photorealistic moment, but this is just part of it, right? Like every single facet of their presentation is special. It's something that, that you're going to want to share on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter and everything like that. So we're gonna keep going along here. We're gonna keep showing you some more stuff and I'm gonna continue to enjoy some of those awesome candies and these awesome drinks. When I start thinking of sliders, again, you're so used to just having a slider on a regular bun. <laughs> but as you can see, we got 
five different sliders in five different colors. Only at the Sugar Factory can you get this type of presentation. I don't even know if I want to bite into this presentation. <laughs> it's almost too pretty. The bun is like it, all pretty perfect. Am I going to mess up something if I bite into it? It's like it a so piece of art almost. But uh, for anyone in my generation who grew up with SpongeBob, I'm going to call these pretty patties. Pretty patties available in six designer colors. I know they're called the <laughs> rainbow sliders, but in my mind, that's what I'm thinking of. And I've always wanted a pretty patty, and I'm going to live out one of my greatest dreams as a child. No, that's ridiculous. I know, I, I, normally I try to be as descriptive as possible, but straight up, I don't even know like what's on this. It's actually really cool. The sauce kind of really juxtaposes itself from like the fondant. So, uh, it hits you, it's like tangy almost. I don't know if that's the correct description for it, but the burger itself is cooked perfectly. Some really nice, uh, I, I'm a pickle guy, so the pickles also hit me in a very, uh, it's perfect. <laughs> Is there any other way well, to I mean, describe it? I mean, it? we started off the color, right? We started with the color and the burger matches the presentation. So I gotta say on a scale of one to 10, this is a 10. The presentation is a 10 and this burger is a yeah, 10. If anybody likes sliders, rainbow slider. We started off with the rainbow sliders. Now we have turned our attention to the big cheesy burger. And the word in that uh, is big and cheesy. Right, so we're gonna dive into it. Okay. You might think here. that with the all, like the over the top like desserts, not over the top, but like you know very large desserts and stuff. That the food course that it did in and of itself would probably not be huge. Not the case. So I'm try to put this up to the camera so you can see how thick the actual patty is. <laughs> you might not be able to see it, but uh, so it's just it's like almost bigger than my hand. But let's see if I can even handle this thing here. No, the, the bun in and of itself, you can see, is like a, a little cook is perfect. When you bite into it, you can feel it. But uh, you get the mac and cheese, you get the tomato. It's like an experience as you keep going further and further down the burger. You mix mac and cheese with bacon with a burger, you got a big cheesy burger. Pretty so, simple. It's like so a math equation. We've tried a lot of different types of food. <laughs> yeah. And I got to say, between the fries, the burger, and the drink, the combination of what we had today has to be be up there at the top. It hits different as the as the kids say these days. I'm not that uh, I'm not that hip, but I think that's how they say it. Yeah, no, it, it, I mean, it hit, it hit me. <laughs> well, if you didn't think we were finishing with something over the top, well, you were sadly mistaken because the drink mate you may have thought was large, the burger you may have thought it was large, it pales in comparison. <laughs> this is, I'm in shock. <laughs> I'm in shock. I mean, I'm gonna, gonna, it takes a lot to shock me, but I'm in shock. I'm gonna show the camera, and I, you guys saw the picture on Instagram, but I'm gonna try to show it to you live best I can. It's hard to even d describe. There's donuts in here, there's caramelized bananas, there's candy. Where do you start? I feel like I need like a bigger <laughs> spoon. <laughs> <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like I need one of, you know, one of those big spoons that's a giant spoon that you could just get it all and just put it in your face. That's what I, I mean, that's kind of what I feel like. This, this reminds me, and I'll, I'll probably put it in between us right here and when I'm doing the video of uh, the Rugrats PS1 game. There's like this over the top ice cream that's meant to be like fake, but this is it. And this actually might be more over the top than what a video game depicted as what crazy ice cream would be. Great job kids. Now I'm going to get you all the ice cream you can eat. We haven't even mentioned this by the way, because of like how large this is. This is a milkshake with the outside being chocolate. The outside of your glass, not just inside, but like all the goodness in there. It, this is chocolate, that what I'm pointing at right now, with strawberries too. None of this is fake. <laughs> this, this is, is a the Valentine's <laughs> Hearts of Love. Hearts of love. Insane wow, insane milkshake. Yeah. I like banana, so I'm, I went for banana, ice cream, a gummy worm, and I'm gonna try to put some Oreo on it. I feel like honestly it feels like you can't eat ever again not because you're so cool but because this is so good it just feels like the next thing you eat you're just not gonna it's not gonna feel the same to you you can't go to baskin robbins you can't go to the thrifty and get this yeah and there the is no way if you want every thing dessert wise in one perfect i've never seen a dessert with <laughs> donuts and marshmallows red velvet me personally this is probably the dessert of the year all right what's eating vegas now that we done filled our bellies, we done had our dessert. Now, this is the man behind 
the scenes who created this magical piece, Chef, everything you received an A plus from us. We've been to many restaurants throughout the last few months. Um, and I gotta tell you, whatever you're doing, <laughs> keep doing it. Tell people, look at our cameras and people are gonna be listening. Why should they come down to the sugar factory? Not only to try your food, but also try your desserts and other things like that. How do we get people to feel safe coming back out and visiting the sugar factory? Well, like I said in the beginning, we just wanna make sure that everybody's comfortable. You know, once you go out to eat, you leave the comfort of your home, you wanna feel that you're still safe. But we also wanna make sure that you guys have a great time. It's a memory for all ages. Um, once you come down, it's something for everybody. We want you to leave with a, a memory that you wanna come back to the sugar factory. Or if you see a sugar factory somewhere else, you'll be like, that's where I wanna go. <laughs> I know they're doing things the right way and we, we live off of our customer service. So we just wanna make sure that you guys are safe, comfortable, and you have a great time. What's Eating Vegas, Sugar Factory with Chef Johnny. 3200 South Las Vegas Boulevard, right outside the Fashion Show Mall. Uh, you have an appetite, make sure you come here. Do not eat before you come to the Sugar Factory because your appetite, every portion of the food here is, comes in big portions, including the, the dessert. And once again, it's heavy. <laughs> What's Eating Vegas? Stay tuned.